score and utilize some of the speed and quickness because when they score, as Coach Patino told us today, it allows them to extend their defense. That's something they want to get going here early tonight. DeAndre Matthew over to Andre Hollins to start the offense for Minnesota. Hollins with a quick elbow chopper, and it's good for Andre Hollins to start things off. But Hollins came down and stayed down. And he is obviously in some serious pain right now. Andre Hollins had a great start versus Iowa last time out, Kevin. On the road, Andre Hollins with 18 points. Iowa focused so much of their defensive pressure on him in the second half. Andre Hollins not able to get many shots, let alone points, as he finished with 20 after starting that game with 18 in the first half. Hard to see anything there. It's when he came down. See if we can tell here. Oh, yeah, he just yeah. rolled that ankle. Yeah. Nothing malicious there by the Wisconsin player. He's just there and rolled that ankle pretty severely. That hurts. Wait till he's 47 and really feel it. Andre Hollins, leading scorer at 16.2 points per game. Not putting any weight at all on that ankle. And a huge loss for Minnesota to start off this ball game. Not only because of what Andre Hollins gives this team offensively. On Andre Hollins, who on the first jumper of the game came down, rolled his ankle. He's being evaluated right now. His return is questionable. Walker, though, inside. Strong. Now, Walker, just demanding the basketball, considering where he left off versus Western on it. So the big fella Walker didn't have to go down below his waist, led him right to the rim. 13-6 Minnesota, the three, a little strong. Good offensive rebound by Dukin to Brust for three. And the second chance for the Badgers gets three on the board. Nice job by Dukin of kicking it out to Brust, who was able to... It's Joey King, Maurice Walker, Maverick Ahanmisi, and Daquan McNeil on the floor for Minnesota. And Ahanmisi inside to the big man, and Maurice Walker. Brown a little bit strong and the rebound out to Matthew three on three McNeil with the scoop it won't go the tip won't go three times a charm on the Oceans with the two Rust is short Eliasson with a rebound Ahan Misi in for Matthew with those two fouls he'll drive all the way to the well and a tip jam on the Oceans Kaminsky. Nice spin on Elias and got the bucket and the foul. What a play by Frank Kaminsky. That's what they missed in the first half. This is a big time play by Kaminsky. Because he can stretch you out from behind the arc, you have to honor it. He doesn't close out under control. Pretty good job initially defensively by Elias in there, Kevin. But for every defensive move that Elias puts on him, Kaminsky has a counter, and it ends with a basket. Elias with his third foul. He sits three for six from three. Four for four from the floor in the second half. Kaminsky spinning a walker in the block. People talk about body language all the time. Maurice Walker is playing with such confidence on both ends. Watch him move his feet. And that's the right call. Because once he blocks it, Kaminsky tries to retrieve it, and it goes the other way. But the confidence with which Maurice Walker is playing right now. Gosser has it ripped away. Elias is diving down to get it to McNeil. Well, Austin Holland has been so solid defensively here tonight. Matthew, 11 in the second half. DeAndre Matthew, red hot, and a timeout for Wisconsin. Boys, he scored the last six for the Gophers on plays like this. They made it 61 and 49. Eight on the shot clock. They've got to hurry. Hollins with that hesitation. Drive it in. One handed stop on the foul. The explosion from Austin Hollins. What a throw. We aren't worthy. Tonight's motorist 
insurance group drive to the hoop. Can there be any others? Oh, the hesitation dribble and then the jump stop.